Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. I'm with several of the past artists of the year, and Ed. <laughs> We're installing not just one of these, but three of these. I can't wait to show you what these collective minds come up with. You just hold on. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So the inspiration to this came from every day coming into work. Every day I would drive into Aqualand and this is the main entrance. There's not a sign, there's not a water feature, there's really nothing. And I wanted something that just said, boom, we are at Aqualand. And the idea actually came from a customer. And we use these stack slate urns all the time. He asked if we had a bigger one. I said, that's a good question. I wonder how hard that would be. And I remember calling Dave Kelly, our product development guy, saying, hey, how hard would it be to build a big eight foot urn? He said, we could do it, but you're gonna have to get a container load up. So I called Jim Jack and I called different distributors and I said, hey, do you want some of these? And they all said, yeah. Then the idea came, we're gonna put these together and it should be the entrance to Aqualand. So we've got not only one stack slate urn, but three. This is what they look like before we stack them all together. So right now you can see Jack Harju from Atlantis Water Garden, Tim Wood oh! from Aquatic Edge. They're prepping. We're waiting for some of the other guys to get out here. I don't know where they're at. Well, you know what? We'll have the whole design done so they don't open their mouth. <laughs> It'll be much easier that way. So yeah, we're just kind of laying out some of the ideas we're thinking jack show them some of the rocks that we brought in to kind of scale this stuff down so when you work with gigantic urns like this you got to scale it somehow and that's going to take big boulders brian went down to semco in missouri and he picked out these boulders these are massive we're talking some six tons seven tons even eight tons we got some even bigger ones in the back we're going to use these to kind of frame out all these urns make them look like they're built in so it's going to be important the way we arrange these boulders and we're actually thinking about getting some cascades like coming in between some of the rock work See how that works out spatially. That's where the experience is going to come in. Getting together with these guys, seeing what everybody's idea is, and then trying to meld it all together. I think that's going to be the bigger challenge. So one of the things I wanted to do before all the guys show up is a lot of the prep work. Hey everybody, it's Brian from Team Aquascape. First thing I got to do is rip out this putting green. This putting green has sat here since the birth of Aqualand, and I think one person has used it, and he no longer works here anymore. So I've got to prep this whole area. Get that putting green out, get the trees out, move a bunch of rocks, move some other little plants here and there and then I can start digging my 3,000 gallon reservoir. Why am I building such a huge reservoir? Because for me, the entrance shouldn't look good just during the summer, spring and fall, but also in the winter. So if I have a 3,000 gallon tank sitting underneath these giant urns, I'll be able to run these things all winter long, which is gonna look just as amazing as it will, if not even better than in the summer. probably asking the same thing I am. What is that stuff? I knew they had put some kind of membrane in here to elevate this thing. I don't know if it was because of groundwater or what. They have these plastic grid-like pieces in here, but we're gonna just start plucking away at these things and getting them out. Putting green out, I got some big boulders over here, out, I can just picture, earn, earn, earn. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so awesome. So I've got four stakes, one here, one down there, one over there, one over there. That's the perimeter of my hole. Because of the size of the urns and the splash, I'm just gonna go with a 22. It's actually, I'm gonna do a 25 by 15 foot hole, which gives me a little bit of overdig just to allow for some easier backfill and easier placement of the aqua box. So a much wider footprint than what I was thinking. I've got the real estate to make the bigger tank and uh, we're just gonna run with that. So here we go, I'm gonna start digging. Next time I see you guys will be when this hole is done. See you soon, bye. So I went ahead and got a 3,000 gallon reservoir put in here. So we have 100 large aqua blocks. Each one of those represents the space of 33 gallons. So we have 3,300 gallons of water. I wanted a big, big reservoir. So I've got the liner in. You can see we've got plenty of liner past our reservoir. The reason I've got such a big liner is because with an eight foot urn, they're gonna put off a lot of splash. So I want to make sure I caught the splash on the left, the right, the front, and the back. Now it's gonna go into just kind of placing these things. At least the prep work's done, so now we can do the fun stuff, and that's gonna be setting big boulders and bigger.
2011, we started choosing Artists of the Year. And the criteria was their creativity, their artwork, their inspiration for the industry. Every year after that, the artists got together and chose the next Artist of the Year. And now it's 2022. So out of the 12, we have six of them that have flown in from all over the country, different parts of the world, to help build their own tribute garden. I had kind of a rough vision on what I wanted, but I really just left it to them. So you've seen a couple of these guys in different collaboration videos that we've done across the country. But in case you're new, let's go introduce you to them. Hey world, John G. Adams, Modern Design Aquascaping from Knoxville, Tennessee, Artist of the Year 2013. I'm Alan Decker from Decker's Pondscapes from upstate New York. I was the 2016 Artist of the Year. Hey, what's up? Tim Wood from Aquatic Edge, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're the Aquascape Artist of the Year 2020. Hey guys, it's Chris Suing with Nature's Recreations 2012 Artist of the Year. What's up guys? Dan Harp here, Mark the Pond Guy from Seattle, the Artist of the Year 2018. Jack Haru you Atlantis Water Gardens over on YouTube. We're based out of Denville, New Jersey. In 2014, I was awarded Artist of the Year. So now that you've got to meet them, you're probably wondering why am I walking up to work with them? Because I haven't really done much up there at all. I've been so busy working on our aqua gardens. I really just had the opportunity to kind of give them my rough vision and then 100% trusted in whatever they wanted to create with these giant stacked urns and huge boulders. So I'm excited to see where they've gotten to at this point. Hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am. Let's go see these. took one of the lower sections of these huge urns and we turned it into its own water feature. I did something similar to this a couple months ago, so I was like, let's try and replicate that. Alan came through here, he cut all kinds of slots about one inch apart, about an inch down. What's gonna happen is the water's gonna pool up inside here and it's gonna come out in all these ribbons of water. How we made that happen, now this is one big hollow cavity. We filled it up with gravel about a foot down from the top. Our pipe is right here, as you can see. We took a piece of liner, we cut it to fit the circumference of this section of urn and then we foamed it all down. So now what happens is the water comes up through here, goes into this pool and rises up and comes out all these beautiful ribbons of water. So John's doing a job over here of just lighting it off so that at nighttime you'll see like not only the texture of the urn, but those really beautiful ribbons of water coming down in here. So I take the two watt LED puck lights and use the, the scrap three inch pipe that we have left over and I just slide the pipe down over it. I cut a little notch in the bottom and shoot some foam in there and it does a couple of things. One thing is, is it blocks the headlight view so that you're not getting blinded. You can put these more in the line of sight where people are going to be able to get up close and the other thing it does is this cup will fill with water and then you get the ripply effect off the top of it whereas this bib liner in here is going to create a pool which was really important to the effect of the way the ribbons come down and i wanted to use these buried up in gravel right behind the ribbons so i'm almost backlighting all these ribbons alike and i got four of these that i'm going to slide in here behind so hopefully we'll take jack's idea and alan's craftsmanship and put a little something fancy on it so that it's got that magic touch at the end
guys, I've been vision this for over a year now, and it was such an honor to have you guys come and build something that not only has your name on it, but everybody that comes to Aqualand from now on will always see this. This is gonna be the very first thing that everybody sees. You guys rock hey, it so, cheers, so cheers, cool. Cheers. I've said it a hundred times throughout the last couple days you've been here, but thank you so much. I've been thinking about this for over a year. It's a thousand times better than what I pictured. It's so amazing. I would trust you guys to do anything ever for me. So if you want to redo something at my house, <laughs> <laughs> and I could just yeah. be like, throw you the keys and walk away <laughs> like I did on this one. No, but seriously, it's so, it's so, so amazing. I love the fact that you guys all have a permanent mark here at Aqualand. I love that past artists of the year have a permanent mark here. I really wish that everybody could have got together, contributed to this whole thing, but thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, you guys are the best. <laughs> we really missed the mark on that one. <laughs> What's your favorite part? My favorite part is the lower section of urn where it's raining water out. It looks like when you're standing 80 feet away, it looks like a waterfall coming through the middle. It's a little real fall right in the middle. It's yeah. The, it's the juxtaposition of all the craziness and the calm right there. Yeah. My favorite part is working with everybody here. Yeah. Because we don't get to do that often. We do have some fun, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same thing. The two small falls, like those small one in the middle and the little creek in the corner. It's perfect. I love just like the total picture of it. It's so large in scale. It's not a huge space at all, but the huge urns, the, the rocks that are up to six, seven tons that we set in here, it is phenomenal. I there's love like, the There's feeling. like 50 tons of boulders yeah. sitting in a project with three urns. It's insane. Honestly, the most impressive part, even looking from afar, is that black. The fact that every time I pull in this driveway, I get to see my name on that black, that should drive anyone who's building water features to want to be one of the best, right? Talk about it. Right. Yeah, the feature alone, but that. Well, you guys, right. I don't know if you guys know this, but you guys inspire people not just in the U.S. but all over the world to make themselves better, right? And we're yeah. seeing that. We're we're seeing the, the expertise level raise and raise and raise, yeah. uh, considerably higher than it was 15, 10 years ago, yeah, even was. five years ago. You're seeing some new guys with like huge growth spurts, we're learning way faster it's than we are. Yeah. It's exciting yeah. to watch There's some really good new stuff guys there. step up to levels that we were 10, 12 years to get to, right? Yeah. And they have such an advantage watching like what we do on video and, and coming to these events. It's awesome because I think it's gonna raise the entire industry to a point where everybody's creating amazing, incredible things. Yeah. Yeah. Every year, it gets harder, I think, to pick the next artist of the year. Yes. Yeah. There are, the, oh my the, God, yeah. The pool is, getting, is growing exponentially every single year because there's, and there's so, so, many so much people awesome doing great work. work there's so much awesome yeah. work yeah. out there it's just it's really hard you know like it actually I think I don't know about you guys but I think it keeps all of us on our game because there's so many young guys coming up well it's yeah. they're so good you gotta, you gotta keep pushing it's, 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 it's humbling right it's it humbling is. because you're like I'm feeling pretty good like we're, we're doing some good stuff and you see somebody that's kind of new and you're like oh crap I gotta really <laughs> step <laughs> yeah. you gotta step it up yeah. tomorrow well you guys in <laughs> two go. days we get to add one more name to that plaque that's gonna be exciting huh yeah. I'm excited. And I love your idea. He gets to lead the, the, the wetland. The wetland over there. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. Throw That's him right fun. in the fire. Yeah. <laughs> we'll drink our beers Thanks again, guys. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Cheers. All right. Drum roll. The new artist of the year is none other than. 